Welcome to the fourth generation iPod Take Apart Guide. To begin, grab a flathead screwdriver or an iPod opening tool and gently pry along the edge of the top case and bottom pan, lifting the top section of the iPod out of the bottom pan. Now flip the iPod over and lifting from the bottom to the top, flip the bottom pan over and disconnect the ribbon cable from the logic board. Once that's complete, now lift the hard drive up and remove the black tape covering the hard drive connector to the logic board. Once that's complete, now lift the lock bar that is holding the ribbon cable in place and gently remove the ribbon cable from the ribbon cable connector. Now lock the bar back in place. Once that is complete, now remove the two cables from the logic board. Once that is complete, now grab your T6 screwdriver and remove the six T6 screws from the logic board. Once that is complete, now grab your flat tool and gently pry the logic board up and over onto its side. Now you can remove the LCD cable from the logic board. Now simply just lift the LCD out of the top case and to remove the battery it is held on by adhesive tape. Gently pry this up and free. To remove the click wheel, simply apply pressure to the outside of the click wheel. This is only held on by adhesive tape.
To remove the headphone jack and hold button assembly, grab a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two Phillips head screws. And now the two Torx T6 screws. Now remove the headphone jack assembly. And now remove the last Phillips head screw. Once this is complete, this simply lifts up and out.